Half coffee, half, half coffee, half thing with a bunch of whipped cream. That's why I'm open. Ooh, Lord, that, Lord, that. Am I film already? Yeah, you are. Oh, no, you did not have me doing all the. Oh, no, no, no. And it's really what good. I love about this place is you can say something and, and they will it. find a way of making it. Hey, hello, welcome to episode six. Uh, we're here with Mimi and Rupert. Hello, Mimi. 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 Hello, Town of Pena is um, um, Cape Verdean, and um, it's a family-oriented town. You were telling me everywhere you go, he meets a cousin. She keeps saying that meat love, and it's, it's it like is. my mind saying order it, but my mind saying don't order it because no, it's I. It's good, but okay. Well, what was your? Yeah, well, I'm doing my favorite, which is a well-done cheeseburger. <laughs> it has to be well done and greasy. Toast that thing and like. <laughs> oh boy, it, it has to be well done, and the fries are gonna be well done, crispy, <laughs> and and um a guy a garden salad. But I I pray to God you have feta. <laughs> we do not have feta. Lord have mercy. So we'll do Italian, crunchy. <laughs> we want, well, no, we can't see it. Oh Lord, no, I'll see you later. <laughs> Let's talk about tonight, Christian Roderick Christmas yeah. show. So what it is is Christine, and you are going to be doing a special program in, on behalf of your mother yes. today. So tell yes. us a little bit. So about Christine that. is um, she's did it three years, and um, what she does is she goes to WCTV, and she helps the kids um, that don't have any toys. So she's going to come, and um, she's going to be an elf, and she's going to have Santa there, and they're going to do Twas the Night Before Christmas, mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to give every kid a toy. We were hoping for donations, so I'm praying until 7 o'clock that we get more contributions for it. And then every kid's going to get a hot dog and a candy cane. And then my dentist, which is Wayham Dentist, gave every kid a toothbrush and a toothpaste. Oh, very nice. Now, all these toys, of course, are donated by members of our community or businesses. Of Thank, us, right? Yeah, that was, we were blessed. Um, we got a lot of donations from, um, like, a Walmart yes. donated and... Um, um, the fire department has been yes. very great. Mm -hmm. So, so far, we've got toys, so God is good, so yeah. it'll all work out. Or we'll be running to Walmart. So, tell <laughs> <laughs> All the dolls do it. <laughs> so, tell us about your special program that you'll be presenting today. So, thank, um, because of Christine, she decided... Your best friend. To, my best friend that I just met. Um, okay, so she decided that she's going to throw my mom under the bus and tell her story. So I'm not going to tell my mom's story of how she was lost and, um, and buried in the snow in 1947. And um, she was a little girl, five years old, and how she... Which is a great story. She overcame a handicap and... Um, she met my father at the age of 16. She married him, had six kids in four years, two sets of twins, and she bought a home in Wayham, and we still live there till today. She's raised three generations of kids there, um, and it's been very great. Um, when God takes something from you, he blesses you with something else, so he blessed her to be a survivor and he blessed it like she goes out with me we walk the whole foxwood yes. like we go shopping she don't um she don't use a wheelchair she just goes she puts oh, some okay. legs on and just goes very good and there's a book written about her story. um yes we have um a book um and that's the little girl lost okay. and it tells the whole story and then today we're going to um show pictures and stuff of her very and then nice. she, she's going to arrive at like 7 30. now what does that mean to you knowing that your mom has such a story or being a child of such a brave woman what do you take from it, that? it shows that um no matter what um is happens to you in your life that you can over you can always overcome it and you can't sit there feeling sorry for yourself because yeah. some other person is worse off than you so therefore, thank Jesus you're alive and healthy because they always, even my mom, I tell her, I said, mother, I feel bad because you don't have any legs, but like there's other people that are, are worse off than you. There's people dying right now, there's people there. So, you know, I, I'm sorry about the legs, but I don't want to hear them every day. <laughs> Let's get moving. <laughs> Yes. Uh, you grow up hearing that story? I, I'm told it today. The mailman knows the UPS truck knows, so everybody knows. You heard all the time when you were a kid. So I get dizzy. Did you 
did it like change the way that you grew up at all? Do you think? Uh, yes, it did. So when I go to Walmart, Walmart knows. Stop and Chop knows. Um, I don't go to McDonald's anymore because they know. So, so therefore, yeah. And so you have to overcome it and you move on and therefore, you know. Yeah. <laughs> if I had a story like that, I would tell everyone. You would, but see, the thing is, it's, it's like, like if it's my birthday. <laughs> okay, I came here and I still have a tooth missing. I gotta go to the dentist. I was like, you gotta film me, but oh well, do it. Do you have a tooth missing right now? Lord have mercy. No, you can't. So. Uh, tell me about your bold personality, how that played in a big family. Thank you. No, which one with your, you with? Yeah. I'm in the middle. the middle. But see, because I'm a mummy's boy, now you already know. Now, did you volunteer yourself to be a mummy's boy? How no, I didn't be because the <laughs> thing is because okay because uh, in, and it's good with the topic that we're doing because of the the, the um, side effects from what happened to her. I dropped out of school. I stayed um, like when she brought me to school. I ran home to the point where every time I, she brought me, I ran home. They just said leave him home. So I stayed home with her every single day. I turned into her. <laughs> And then I turned into soap operas. Like I was, I was trained on Days of Our Life and all my children, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, it got bad. How was your high school days? Very bad. I'm oh, sorry to hear yeah, that. Yeah, very bad. Well, why do you think? Um, well, I know back in the day, is, um, this, this, uh, um, this town society mm -hmm. didn't accept um, the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So it was very hard going to school, yeah. not knowing who you were. I, if I didn't leave school, they would throw me out. Because yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was so tech. Imagine not being able to go to the locker room. Mm -hmm. Imagine want, uh, wanting to be friends with somebody and not wanting anything to happen, mm -hmm. but the person didn't want to be friends with me because they thought yeah. they would be labeled. Yes, yeah. So I just hang with the girls. And the girl myself loved you. I was trying to be a cheerleader. <laughs> so you couldn't. Like I did it. U G L Y, you ain't got no alibi, so you're ugly. <laughs> so you can imagine. <laughs> you were telling me something, yeah. a very funny story. Mm -hmm. um, that because I asked you, I said, when did you? You seem very out and proud. Yeah. And when did that start? And you said it wasn't always like this. But you, re you reached to a point in your life. You said it took me years. Yeah. And then finally, I said, this is who I am. Take me or leave me. Um, as far as name calls, I'm immune. Well, you can call me Sally. You can call me anything you want. As long as you don't touch me, yes. we're fine. Because no matter what we do, you're always, like she's a professional, you're a professional. We're always going to be looked at. We're always going to be, like somebody's always going to say something ignorant. Yes. There's always going to be a racial person. There's always going to be a bigot. There's always going to be a rude person. So what would you like this Christmas? How can we make your Christmas special? Bravo bath. Bubble bath. I'm obsessed with bubble bath. Like I lay in there like the planet of the ape and I just said it's so soothing after all this. No, I love bubble bath. There's something about water. <laughs> like, no, water and candles. No, it is soothing. To, if I just lay there and I have a candle yeah. and I listen to Whitney, that's a wrap. <laughs> but now as I'm afraid to listen to Whitney because you drown the tub, so I'll turn it to a different station. Whitney then screwed up my tub, so now I put a Luther. I love him and leave him. Okay. So I've never had a, a relation. I've never had a relation. I've never had. A, I, so I was, goodbye. Okay. And then me, I want Butch. And they're not enough. Butch? No, I want you to be yo. Shut up. So I'll go to P Town. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, this is what's happening. I'll go to P-Town, right? Mm -hmm. Listen to this one, and I'm so mad, right? Mm -hmm. And they're like this. Like, and I want them to get yo, what's up? And they got bodies in P-Town. And they go, hey, I'm like, mm, bye. <laughs> because I can't. I can't. So I'm so mad. And then I went to California. Oh, looking for the for Looking. Uh-huh. For Butch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it said, body build only. <laughs> no, I can't get in, right? <laughs> but I sure did. <laughs> and they looked good. <sighs> How you doing? Hey. Uh, bye. <laughs> so I can't find it. Have you tried online dating? Yeah. And I've tried certain people, but then I can't deal by. So that's what's happening. What do you mean? They want to be by, but then they want to walk in with Farrah Fawcett or uh, uh, Jennifer Lopez, <laughs> and it ain't happening. <laughs> uh, uh.
can't compete with Farrah. <laughs> no, I can't compete with you going out with me and then seeing you with this girl with extensions on my own. What, what's up, disco dream? What, I'm like punching your shoulder, football player. So, okay, you see here? See? I don't even want to take the hat off. I don't do fake. I don't do horse here. I don't do my. If, if God didn't give it to me, I ain't using it. I don't think I'm gonna get that big too. <laughs> That's it. Because it, I don't like that. It smells. So, um, but, apart from this Christmas show, what are other plans that you have? Yeah. After Christmas, mm. well, my mom's gonna fox with. Okay. For two nights, I'm staying home to watch her boyfriend. Cause she has a bo oh, she has a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? How old is he? He'll be 81. Oh, yeah. yeah, so she definitely has a boyfriend. <laughs> but she's going to pay me, she said, to watch him while she's gone for two nights. Okay. <laughs> Do you get along with him? Do you like him? Okay. Mm. <laughs> How's that, that salad? <laughs> okay, so I will watch him and I'll try to give him three meals. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. If you put baby oil mm -hmm. in the tub with hot water with some bubbles, you get out of that tub, Lord have mercy. Now, if you have an M-A-N to go home to, it's going to be a good night. <laughs> so this, your body is like unbelievable. Like if you soak in body your oil, uh, baby oil and you're used to it, it's like butter. And it's nine nine cent. So what are you doing for New Year's? What's your New Year's resolution? Do you have one? Do you make one? Cigarettes. Oh, oh. We have a show at WCTV. Hypno, a hypno I won't let him do it. Why not? Mm -hmm. No, I might come out as a frog or something. No, you do. Those, those are the myth. No. See, my brain is so thing that you might hypnotize me. I might be straight. <laughs> I'd be like, yo, what's up? And we don't want that. No! <laughs> and it's, about, it's ten dollars and thirty cents. How much do you smoke? How many packs? Yeah. It costs me a hundred dollars a week. No, you're kidding. Mm -hmm. You buy so many shoes. Oh my god. You buy so many shoes. Oh my god. If you put that money in like a guinea pig, mm -hmm. it That's why when people ask me for a cigarette, I smoke Newport, I say it's called Newport, not support, because I'm not having it. <laughs> I'm afraid like this when you ask me for a cigarette. Like, I keep 10 at home. Like, like when you ask me a cigarette, I'm like, yeah, it's only 20. <laughs> Do you have a cigarette? Um, there's 20 in the back. Like, just <laughs> go. Like, if you, I hate when they say, Do you have an extra cigarette? Like, I only got 20. <laughs> it's one every half hour. How are you going to cut the yeah. <laughs> What I'm going to do, I'm going to get the patch. So I have a place there that, um, cause I'm, my insurance yeah. is I'm gonna get the patch and I'm gonna put a patch on a day and I'm just gonna not smoke. I just have don't you wanna. Have tried it before, the patch? I tried the patch, but see with the anger, the anger kicks in. I bought her a brass bell, uh -huh. my mother. So I bought it for emergency use only to ring it. Yeah. She rings it. What mother? Can you get me a banana? Okay. <laughs> okay. Can you get me ice cream sandwich? Okay. Ding ding. Now the third bell. I'm gonna get ya. Cause I said emergency only. See, I'm off the clock at eleven. Okay. What I do after eleven, I need you to bring that if it's a health hazard thing, <laughs> like fire. You can't breathe. Not a banana. <laughs> Oh, Mimi Sequoia. Yes. Woo. You know her? No, but it, I love the name. Oh. Me. Yeah, All right, let's close the show. Okay. God bless. All right. So. All right, thank you so much for watching episode yep. six of Meet Me at the Riverside. I'm Lydia Gurner from Wareham Week. And it was truly Queen Banda from WCTV, and we were joined by Eugene. And thank you for coming and watching. WCTV. Woo. Episode six, yo. <laughs> Holla back now. <laughs>